What is going on in our local Snohomish County market? It's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team bringing you our May market report right here for Snohomish County. And a lot of what you're gonna hear from this market report carries in other counties that we cover as well, like King County and Skagit County as well. So let's jump right into the numbers. First of all, our average sales price is up to an eye-popping $627,000. This is an increase of nearly 15% from April of 2020 to April of 2021. This is the biggest increase we've seen. It's absolutely crazy to see the market going up that far. Um, and it's just a result of the very low inventory that we have right now. So um, it's a big increase and it's something we're all definitely watching very closely. New listings are up about 2.4%, which is good to see. We saw a lot of people hunger down last year, um, not list their homes when they were selling, um, just kind of push it off for a year until COVID passed or has kind of um, been less of an issue. And now those people have started listing their homes, which could help us in the future. Homes for sale though are down 52%. So while new listings are up, the homes for sale are actually down and it's a lot too, 52%. So there's less than half of what was available to go look at this same time last year. And this is just a result of having a lot of buyers in our market right now. There's just simply so many more buyers than there is listings that homes are selling super fast and there's a lot of competition on them. Average days to sell a home. So it's about five days to sell a house, which is just the offer review period. You know, most sellers are listing a home, they're waiting until a certain date to look at offers. Typically it's that five to seven days that they wait, and that's why we're averaging that amount of time. Most homes are getting offers by their review date. So they're not intentionally, um, you know, just like putting it on the market and, uh, you know, not looking at offers. Um, they're, they're waiting until that time to look at offers, if you will. So they're not, they're not just sitting there on the market, waiting for offers to come in for five or seven days. It's just, they're waiting to accept one until that, that seven days comes along. Our months of inventory supply are down to 0.7, meaning that we have virtually no houses for sale right now. Um, and it's very competitive. A balanced neutral market, remember, is a six month inventory supply of houses. So we have a very long ways to go to get back to that number until the inventory levels start going going way up, like to two to three months, we're not gonna see the prices start to flatten. That's just the unfortunate reality that we've got going on right now. So what does this mean for you as a buyer or a seller? Let's start on the buy side. As a buyer, whew, be ready for a fight. If you're looking for a home under a million dollars, you're going to have multiple offers in most cases that you're gonna be competing against. We've seen as many as 30 offers on houses in the last few months. When 30 people offer on a home, 29 people don't get it. So your strategy matters now more than ever. You need a strategy for appraisal coverage. You need an inspection strategy. You need an earnest money strategy and you need some really good financing if you're getting a mortgage. So you really need to sit down with your agent before you start actively looking in this market and get that game plan together that's gonna be specific and unique to you. As a seller, what does it mean? Well, <laughs> it's the best time to sell that we've ever seen right now. So if you have any thoughts of selling, this is the market you wanna do it in. You probably have a huge amount of equity in your home that maybe you didn't have a few years ago, and you might wanna take advantage of that. But the challenge for you as a seller is where are you going to go to next? Buying and selling at the same time in our market is very difficult right now. That's called a contingent buyer in most cases, meaning that you're buying a home contingent on your current home selling and closing, and when there's multiple offers on a house, contingent offers tend to just kind of get pushed aside. So that's a strategy that really doesn't work right now. So as a seller, the biggest thing that's gonna be going through your mind is where am I gonna to move to next? So I'm end up homeless. There's a number of strategies we've been using on our team on how to do that, including rent backs, things like that. If you're curious about what those strategies could look like, send me a message. I'm gonna put my phone number up on the screen. You can text me, you can send me a message on Facebook, and I can help you develop a game plan that's unique to your needs to buy or sell or to buy and sell at the same time. There's your market data, Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team.